dreary day today, but these temperatures, they just do not match the canvas here. 71 degrees is the current temperature. South southwest winds at 15 miles per hour, just scooping up that Gulf moisture and planting it in our backyard. There's a ridge to our south and it's really carved out the northern third of the state and it's very distinct from the rest of the state. In fact, Huntsville, the National Weather Service in Huntsville just issued a daily rainfall rate that was broken, a record over a 112 year old record broken for December 5th. They got two and a quarter inches of rainfall yesterday, December 5th, 2022. So a big deal there. 71 degrees in Birmingham, 75 already in Centerville. We're at 80 in the Big Easy, likely seeing some 80s around sections of southwestern Alabama, Mobile and Daphne. The winter solstice, the actual time where we say it's winter, you know, the longest night of the year, that's going to occur on December 21st. That's in 15 days. The average high for this time of year should be about 56 and it should be 37 in the evenings, but we're not seeing anything like that. In fact, a lot of folks will likely be looking for the air conditioning, hopefully the dehumidifier because we just continue to see this warmth. Note that there's nothing happening in the northern Gulf of Mexico. This is where the ridge is planted and everything is riding clockwise on the outskirts of that ridge. And you can see a couple of weak disturbances have been kicked up from time to time. Not every single county, but Tuscaloosa County being scanned right now from our WBTM 13 live Doppler radar. You can see Holt and Peterson, Cottondale, Tuscaloosa, Northport as well. A decent swath of rainfall extends into Coling in that Highway 11 corridor just to the south running parallel to Brookwood. Now, as far as the rainfall tally through the rest of the week, the next seven days, I think most spots again, the northern third really, and maybe a couple of areas of Hamilton, Double Springs and northern Coleman County can get closer to an inch, inch and a half of rainfall. Yesterday we received over a quarter of an inch of rain, and this is the first time I think I've seen, you know, the month to date rain deficit is at zero. So we have no rain deficit and we have about an eight inch surplus for the rainfall for the entire year in Birmingham. So it's just soggy and sloshy really this year, but we've had dry years, so it's nice to see that. Yesterday, Tuscaloosa didn't get quite as much rain, but they're a little bit farther southward topographically. Looking at the year, though, they still do have a surplus of close to six and a half inches of rainfall. Half an inch fell in Anniston yesterday, but they're still looking at a rain deficit. Pretty significant one there in East Alabama. Still a burn ban in most spots. Okay, the rain chances in the 70s, they're going to stick around for the rest of the week, but Saturday, 